In this video, we're going to set up uh, profile-based shipping in your PayPal account. So the first thing that you want to do is log into PayPal, and from the my from this screen right here, choose profile. On the left side, you'll see my selling tools. Click that, and then scroll down to see where you see shipping calculations, and then click on update. Now, if this is your first time walking through this, you'll see. Um, start buttons for each of the wizards and this one's going to set up um, shipping options for just for the US and this will set up shipping options for for other countries so let's start with um, the US here we'll click on start okay for this example we're gonna keep the currency at US dollar and we'll just choose a particular state here so we'll go with Michigan we obviously we can have the same rate applied to all all states and territories in the US but we're just going to choose Michigan click on add scroll down a little bit click on continue so there's preset names that we can choose um, for the particular method that we're going to have so let's start with the standard. We'll call it standard domestic. And it's supposed to say it takes, since we're in Michigan, um, in this example, we're gonna, it's not gonna take long to ship, so we'll just say one business day. And then we can base it on the total order amount. So then we can fill in the table there. But there's gonna be different options based on We'll go with total order amount. And the rate for shipping can be based on, it could be percentage of the total, and or it could be a fixed amount. So we can just, for an example, we'll put in $5. The rate will be $2 shipping. No, let's go back and charge more for shipping if they spend less. That makes more sense. That's it. We'll click on continue. Review the settings and then click on save. That's it. Now we can add another shipping method for expedited shipping, for example. And if we want to set up rates for international we do that here so we'll click on add new shipping method we'll go with Canada and let's say we want to have a specific rate just for Ontario click on add continue in the same process we just choose a standard Take, um, let's see, one to five business days. And again, we can base it off the total order amount and then fill in the table here and then click on continue. And then just keep on going for, well, yeah, we view, review our changes. Click on change if any of this is wrong. And this should save. So now we can continue on with um, creating other shipping methods for, um, for the US and other shipping methods for the rest of the world just by clicking on these button, these options here and then continuing on through the process until everything's complete. And that's it.